Despite it being one of the most notorious crimes in recent history, two years have gone by and still justice has not been served in the murder case of Jamal Khashoggi. 24 months on and the focus on the Saudi journalist who entered his country's consulate in Istanbul, never to be seen again, may have died down, but the outrage remains. Khashoggi had been writing for the Washington Post. The first anniversary of his murder was marked in a high-profile vigil attended by the Post's owner and the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos. A monument was placed just yards from the Saudi consulate's door, a place for people to pay their respects for the slain journalist who was not afforded even the right for a proper burial as Saudi officials still refused to disclose the whereabouts of his body or his remains. Khashoggi and colleagues. This year's anniversary is being marked with the launch of the organization Khashoggi was setting up before he was killed. Dawn, or democracy in the Arab world now. It was this type of work, his advocacy for freedom and pluralism, that earned him the wrath of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Jamal was perhaps the Arab world's most famous political exile, whom Saudi Arabia tried to silence. We will give a voice to thousands like him, who have struggled for change in their countries. While his friends and colleagues have succeeded in continuing his legacy through the launch of Dawn, there's been little success in their fight for justice. After initially denying they killed him, Saudi Arabia then pushed the narrative that the journalist was murdered by what they described as a team of rogue agents. It took months before any form of court proceedings began, and even then they lacked any form of integrity or transparency. In December 2019, a Saudi court sentenced five unnamed people to death and three others to prison for the murder. But those sentences were commuted three weeks ago in what the United Nations Special Envoy on Extrajudicial Killings described as the antithesis of justice. Meanwhile, Turkey says it's committed to holding those responsible for the murder to account. On Thursday, the prosecutor's office said it was indicting six more Saudi citizens in their ongoing case. The latest names include two consulate staff. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who is believed to have ordered the murder, appears to have weathered the fallout. He's still very much in power and world leaders continue to do business with him. But even in his death, Jamal Khashoggi remains a thorn in his side and one that could prove to be even more damaging still. Jamal Al-Shayyal, Al-Jazeera, Istanbul.